In this video, I'll show you how to install the kickstart components for GY6 125 to 150 cc engines. And before you begin, you'll want to look at this and make sure you have all of the parts that you see here. That's your kickstart lever, a bolt for that, bracket that holds the spring and a bolt for that. You've got a bushing that goes into the case, a washer, this kickstart gear, this bushing that goes into the CVT cover, a spring, and then this whole gear assembly. You will also want to make sure that all of those are clean because they tend to accumulate a lot of belt dust. So you can clean those up with a brake parts cleaner or a degreaser and a wire brush or something like that. But just get them very clean before you begin. It's also a good time to clean up the cases. Now you don't have to have the clutch assembly and the variator out like I do here, but it makes it a lot easier to see everything. Uh, if you do have those out, clean this entire area while you're at it and make sure you get this hole here and this hole here where kickstart parts ride get those cleaned out well. This is the first gear that I'll be installing. Before I start I want to take just a dab of grease and put it into this hole right here. And you can also smear just a tiny bit on the back of this gear right on this nub if you'd like. And before this goes in, I take note of a few things. You have an arrow here, and that is intended to point at the crankshaft. So when it goes in, that arrow should be pointing pretty much as directly at the crankshaft as you can get it. You should also see a little punch mark or dot right here. And that will face this way, and there will be a mark on the next gear that that should line up with or be close to. You should also note this spring. This needs to face down when this gear is installed and it will slide into this slot right here in the case. When you look at the back of this gear you should see that there is a small pin that sticks out of this shaft and this small pin will need to align with this keyway in the hole that it sits in. So what I do is position this clip so that it's facing down while this arrow points left and this one points right. So this would be perpendicular to these two arrows. And then I rotate this shaft so that the pin is facing straight up so that it's aligned with that keyway. So what I'll try to do is keep all of that lined up just as I showed you and then slide it straight into here and it should go through the teeth here. And you can just try to rotate this shaft and make sure it's not spinning. That way you know that that little pin in the back is lined up where it's supposed to be. Before I begin installing the next gear, there's a bushing that fits into this hole in the case. And it's this tiny little bushing. But before that goes in, just like the first one, I put a little dab of grease inside of that hole. And I will also put some grease inside of the bushing the best I can. Then the bushing should just slide into the case. Now I can install this gear, but again there are a couple things I want to note. The first is that this one also has a mark, hopefully you can see right here. And that should align with the little dot that I showed you on this gear when installed or come close to aligning to it. The other thing I wanted to show you is this little pin on the shaft and that is used to hold the kickstart spring. The spring has a hook that you can see here and when you slide that spring over the shaft that little hook should go over that pin to hold the spring into place. Just like the first if you'd like you can put a dab of grease on this nub here where it goes into the case. Just a small amount. Now you're going to slide this gear, that little nub on the end of it, into this bushing and when you do that you'll get this mark aligned the best you can with this mark on this gear. And it may not align perfectly but get it as close as you can. Now 
Next, I'm going to install this spring, and you'll want to slide it on just like you see here so that both of these hooks are towards the back. And you should see that this little hook kind of faces the front of the engine. So slide that onto the shaft. And then you should see that there's this little pin that I showed you earlier on this shaft. And then you've got that hook on the spring. So you would just rotate that around until that hook sits on that pin and make sure it's locked into place. Now what I need to do is to rotate this section of the spring around this way until it hooks around this section of the case. I use a pair of vice grips to do it. You could use any pliers you'd like. I just find vice grips to be a bit easier because they stay in place. And I lock them on very close to the coil up here so that they're out of the way. Then I'll twist this around and put that hook right behind that section of the case. And you may want to push it back a little bit just to be sure it stays there and release my vice grips. That has tension on it now so be careful around it. Before you go any further you may also want to go back and look at your alignment marks that I showed you before and make sure they're still where you had them before or basically. If they are way off then you may have to go back and reposition some things and try again. Everything looks good on mine. So now I've got this bracket and I'll go ahead and put it on just like you see here so that this little tab comes down over the spring and then install the small bolt. Now you should have a small washer that will slide on over this shaft as far as it'll go right up against this raised section here, the larger section. And then you'll have a bushing here. And this bushing you can either slide it onto the shaft or you can slide it into its hole in the CVT cover. It's up to you whichever you choose to do. Some people find it easier to have it in here first and some people would rather have it on that shaft first. Either way I put just a small amount of grease on the outside of it and a tiny amount of grease right where that rides on this shaft. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide it on here. Normally you would have your variator and your rear pulley installed before you install the cover but just for demonstration purposes I'll go ahead and put the cover on. So you need to of course line that hole in the cover up with this shaft and then slide it straight on. Sometimes that will give you trouble and you can't get it lined up. It went on this time. But if that gives you trouble and you can't get it lined up, you may need to take your kickstart lever and put it on the shaft here and just kind of work it a little bit until you can get things to align so that you can get the cover on. Once you have the cover installed, then you can slide this kickstart gear over the splines on that shaft and you'll want to kind of get this just running parallel with the case and the engine. And then all you have to do to finish up is install the bolt in there. And if everything's correct, you should be able to turn the engine over with the kickstart now. If you found this video helpful, please like, favorite, and subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.